Hello, welcome back to Algebra. We're working on our third lesson in our sequence of solving multi-step equations and our journey in algebra here. And so these equations are not going to be really any harder, but some of them might have more steps. Uh, but the, the solution methods are exactly the same as what we've done before. So just a slightly different flavor of problems. What if we have uh, 2x minus 5y, and that's equal to 10. And that's the equation. And then it says solve for x. Now, a lot of students get confused here because there's not only an x here, well, there's two of them, but there's also some y's. So they're like, what do I do? Well, an equation can have more than one variable. I mean, you can have, you can have x, you can have y, you can have t, you can have all kinds of variables. I mean, just think about the equation of an area of a circle. a is equal to pi r squared. You have a, you have r, and then you have another number that we all know is pi. There's lots of equations with multiple variables. So this is just another equation that has different variables. So when you're asked to solve for x, what it means is take everything else except for x and get it over somewhere else on the other side. And then we'll divide by that 2 at the end and we'll have x on one side by itself. That's all you're trying to do. All right, so the first thing we have to do is get rid of the 5y. How do we do it? We just add 5y because that'll kill it on the left. So what we're going to have then is 2x will be the only thing on the left, but on the right we'll have the 10 and we'll be adding 5y to it. So we do the same thing to both sides. We add 5y on the left, getting rid of it, making it 0. We add 5y on the right, giving me this. So then I say, what is x going to be equal to? I'm going to divide by 2, killing the 2. On the right, it'll be 10 plus 5y over 2. All I have done is I've divided the left by 2, making it cancel. I'm just not showing the canceling anymore because you know, we have to kind of move on a little bit from some of the things that we learned in the beginning. You know that when you divide by 2, you're canceling. That gives you the x. Then the right is being divided by 2. Now, you could probably stop there. This is what it's equal to. But remember I taught you, when you have a complicated thing added together over a number, to simplify it further, what you really want to say is the first thing divided by 2 plus the second thing divided by 2. And that's because you can, if you look at it as a fraction, the common denominator is 2, and you add the numerator, so that gives you exactly back what you started. We're just going in reverse and splitting it up. So now what you have is 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 divided by 2 you can't really do anything about. 5 halves y. Or typically you'll write the variable first, so you'll say 5 halves y plus 5. 5 halves y plus 5, that's the final answer. So solving for a variable, even if you have other additional variables in the problem, is not difficult. You just have to move everything over to the other side, just like for any other problem. Okay, what if we have the equation for interest, like interest, uh, like